the story of Robert de Villa. You know who that is? No, you don't, because I do. <laughs> uh, three months ago, I gave khutbah in Fort Worth. I haven't been to that masjid in four or five years, and they invited me for some reason, and I went. And I gave khutbah there. My khutbah was about dua. An Egyptian fellow comes up to me, a young man came up to me afterwards, he goes, Allah fulfilled my dua today. And I said, what's your dua? He said, my dua was that Norman Ali Khan should meet Robert de Villa. I was like, <laughs> are you Robert de Villa? He goes, nope, I am not Robert de Villa. Robert de Villa is my friend. But I think Allah is fulfilling my dua. I was like, fire away, I want to know. Robert de Villa is a young man who lives in a town 40 minutes past Fort Worth. He's a, he was a farmer, young guy. And he was hit with some sort of genetic disorder that kicked in later on in his life. And he became paralyzed from the neck down. And he was, he's actually, he lives in a nursing home. Uh, most people in that nursing home are 90 years, 100 years. They're really, really old people. And then there's, you know, his room where he's paralyzed neck down. He's the only 30-something year old that is in the nursing home, okay? And he's been in that nursing home for the last 10 years. His family got a computer for him that's voice activated so he can give voice commands, put a headphone on and Google stuff and search stuff so he can surf the web and find information. In his room, in his room, and by the way, staunch Christian family, the minister comes and prays for him every, every, you know, every week and things like that. And his best friend was in the bed next to him. One of his best friends. He became best friends because he met him at the nursing home. This person was also paralyzed and he needed a new liver. Okay? A liver transplant. He was waiting for a liver, liver transplant. And they used to talk about, you know, God and things like that all the time. They were good friends. Finally, his best friend got a call that there's a donor available for the liver. So he's so excited. He goes, Robert, I'm going to miss you, but I'm going. I've got a, I've got a donor. So they take his friend and they go on the op, into the operation and his friend died at the operating table. Now his friend, uh, who's also a Christian, 